We're back with Richard Southern to chat about some of the day's more interesting stories. And Richard, the plot thickens as the Pentagon continues investigating possible UFO sightings. Another investigation has now been launched, Erica. This is getting quite interesting. The Pentagon, uh, with a brand new probe here, it's the Pentagon's Inspector General, looking into the actions the U.S. military has taken to address the series of UFO sightings in recent years by military personnel, some of which we're looking at right here. Remember, U.S. Navy pilots uh, have videoed objects, which the Pentagon says is real, but defy the laws of physics as we know them. And these objects have repeatedly violated U.S. military airspace. So the inspector general out of the Pentagon says, quote, the objective of this evaluation is to determine the extent to which the DOD has taken action regarding unidentified aerial phenomenon. And now this latest probe, Erica, comes as the U.S. Congress and all of us await a big report due next month, which is supposed to detail exactly what the U.S. military knows about all of this. So it could be a very big event next month. CNN is quoting sources as saying there will be uh, more inquiries around this, uh, surrounding this issue. And, you know, if the U.S. military is taking it so seriously, maybe we should start to take it just as serious, don't you think? Yeah, something to watch out for. And I know we'll probably follow up on this as well. Very interesting. All right, it is Cinco de Mayo, and it appears Canadians are more than willing to participate in that tradition. I know I am. <laughs> yeah, I'm, having ta I'm making tacos tonight. I'm very nice. excited, Erica. Can't wait. Uh, and you know what? A lot of us love tacos, not just on Cinco de Mayo. Uh, I reached out to uh, Skip the Dishes today, that food delivery app. And they detail just how many delicious tacos and burritos we've been ordering. Take a look at this. Over the past year, 1.1 plus million tacos is what we've chowed down on, Erica. Just through Uber, just through uh, Skip the Dishes. <laughs> 260,000 burritos, uh, 421,000 sides of guacamole, 84,000 sides of salsa, 40,000 of which were spicy. What's your uh, Listen, favorite uh, Mexican food area? You can't, you can't go wrong with tacos, and fish tacos are really good, especially when you add a little spice to it. I love that. What about you, Richard? Uh, I, anything in them is good, but you got to have the, the, the corn uh, tortilla. I'm not yeah. a flour guy. I'm the corn one. You got to go for the real authentic uh, stuff. Erica. I think I need to order some tacos tonight. <laughs> All right. And finally, a toddler has quite the tale to tell after getting stuck inside <laughs> a very small object. Oh, no. Oh, uh, you got to see these pictures. I mean, it ain't a barrel of laughs with this poor kid. Oh. Look at this guy. <laughs> what happened? Oh. Two-year-old two Tennessee boy got stuck in an antique wooden barrel at his grandparents' house. Well, as folks weren't uh, looking, uh, parents actually loaded him in the back of the car in the barrel to take him to the ER. Uh, the doctors took x-rays first to determine where his hips, knees and feet were before firefighters sawed into the bowl to get him out. Uh, there you go. That's and he got a cute, treat afterwards. Oh. oh, I'm glad he's OK. Happy ending. Happy oh. ending there. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Richard. We'll see you again tomorrow. See you tomorrow.